the right kinetic energy. Kinetic energy is defined as energy possesses by virtue of motion and is given by half mv square where m is mass and v is the velocity. Then write potential energy. Energy possessed by virtue of position is called as potential energy is given by mgh. It's a relative term. The lower point is called as datum and assign h equals to 0. So in my problem I have one point here and I have one point here. So this volume is assigned as h1 equals to what? And what is the vertical difference between if this height is capital H then this value was taken as H2 equals to capital H. So this is called as datum. The lowest point in my figure is called as datum. With reference to datum you have to measure the height of second point. By law of conservation of energy, energy is neither greater nor but always transform from one form to another form. That is sum of kinetic energy plus potential energy at initial condition is same as kinetic energy plus potential energy at final condition. While applying the law of conservation of energy, work is assumed to be zero. Or we can say that delta of kinetic plus delta of potential is equals to zero. Change in kinetic plus change in potential is zero. Final minus initial, final minus initial equals to energy never changes. It always remains constant. And next one is we have work energy theorem. If in your mechanical system, if the work exists, then the change in kinetic energy plus change in potential energy is due to, is equals to work. So if work is zero, it becomes law of conservation of energy. And if work exists, it is called as work energy. Otherwise, both theorem are same theorem. Work is due to two quantity. One is due to spring and work is due to friction. The work due to spring is given by 1 by 2 k times delta square where k is called as stiffness and delta is called as deflection and work due to friction is given by mu into n that is the friction force multiplies by your displacement x. k is called as spring stiffness is normally newton per meter delta is called as deflection of spring usually meters. To develop the equation of our free fall velocity let consider we have a ball here at position 1 and this one is ground this one is position 2 this ball has mass equals to m and I am drop this ball from the height equals to h is h1 equal to capital H the potential error and what is h2 is it equals to 0 now this is that now when I drop it initial kinetic energy is 0 but it has a potential energy equals to mgh as I drop it it will go always towards the center of earth that is towards gravity and when it reaches here its potential energy becomes 0 but it acquires a kinetic energy so we can apply law of conservation of energy to the free fall velocity so what is the law of conservation of energy according to this equation is kinetic energy initial plus potential energy initial equals to kinetic energy final plus potential energy final what was the what is the initial kinetic energy when i drop my velocity v1 equals to or zero so what is the kinetic energy zero what is the potential energy is given by mgh form so is it m into g into capital h equals to is the final velocity exist so that equals to half m into what v square but what is the final potential energy is zero so this m and m is cancelled and we get v equals to top 2gh this is called as free fall velocity so let's consider this one. and this is a very smooth pipe and if i drop a ball of tiny size through this one this ball will travel through this one and will come to this side at this point so is it my lowest point so this is that term this equals to what h equals to zero and with reference to this height if I measure this height, it doesn't matter how I am going from this point to this point. Only vertical distance matters. So let's say this height equals to what? Capital H. So this is my initial condition and this is my final condition. Is a kinetic energy, is a kinetic energy, is a velocity at this point is 0. And is the height H, is the height H1 equals to capital H. For this one is H2 is 0. And will it acquire a velocity? So can we again apply the same law? And will you get the same velocity at the point V2? V2 equals to under root of 2GH. So it does not matter whether it falls vertically downward like this 
or it travel from one point to two point via another path. But remember, friction must be equal to what zero. If friction is present, entire problem will change because some work is required to overcome the friction. Naturally, the kinetic energy will not be the same. In that case, you have to apply the work. Energy. But I said right now, the pipe is smooth. Because the pipe is smooth, the work due to this equation is zero. It is same as law of conservation of momentum. According to law of conservation of momentum, momentum is always constant. That is, initial momentum equals to final momentum. So, if we have two body, initial momentum is given by m1 u1 plus m2 u2. u1 and u2 are the initial velocity of body m1 and m2. m1 v1 plus m2 v2 is the final momentum. To solve this problem, yesterday we have taken this side of velocity equals to what? Positive. Rightward velocity is positive, leftward is negative. And we have a body 1 moving with the velocity equals to u1. We have body 2 moving with velocity equals to what? u2. Having mass equals to m1 and mass equals to m2. And finally we have a v1 and so, sorry velocity equals to what? v2. So final velocity is v1 and v2. So according to this we have this is the initial and this is the final. This is before impact, this one is after impact. Then we have also defined the coefficient of restitution which is defined as velocity of separation divided by velocity of approach. Velocity of separation is called as how far this body move away from the first body. How fast this body moves from the first body is given by V2 minus V1. Velocity of approach says that how fast the body number 1 will approach to body number 2. That is given by u1 minus u2. Coefficient of restriction has a value of 0 less than t less than 1. And as plastic. If equal to 1, it is called as elastic. Between 0 to 1 is called as inelastic. Then we have defined the kinetic energy also. Kinetic energy initial is given as half m1 to 1 square plus half m2. Based on this one, we have final kinetic energy also, which is 1 by 2 m2 v1 square plus 1 by 2 m2 v2 square it should be equals to m1 huh? and difference of this one is called as kinetic energy loss initial minus final and in addition to this we have defined the average impact force average impact force is given by mass into acceleration by Newton's second law Newton's second law mass remains constant Acceleration is given by delta V divided by time of impact. This one is entire theory for this chapter. You can apply law of conservation of mass. You can apply the law of conservation of momentum and coefficient of restitution. Whenever you have to find out velocities. Whenever you have to find out the force, use this equation. Either for body 1 or for body 2. Now these are the extra equation for you. Number 1 number 3 and number 4. Use this equation to find out velocity in the case of free fall or sometimes work is done. The entire chapter is based on these 5 basic laws. But remember, it is universally true that chapter is dedicated to no external force. Okay, let us consider we have a pendulum here. The pendulum is L and the mass of the bob is M and let us say this mass as the bob is moving to the right the velocity equals to v so is this mass has a kinetic energy and because of kinetic energy will this bob will swing and will it swing like this it has a kinetic energy so it will continue to rise up to this point till the its energy becomes zero means according to this law we have a kinetic energy and this is my lowest point so is it my datum so what is the h value for this one zero so what was the initial potential energy is it zero but does it has a kinetic energy and when it comes to this point approximately at this point does it has a potential energy because it has rises from datum how much it rises if i say this equals to capital h and if the velocity at this point equal to becomes zero then is the kinetic energy will be zero so is it a maximum height attained by the bob at this point so what is the velocity v2 at this point is it zero the bob will continue to move in this direction till the velocity equals to what zero Initial velocity equals to v1. Initial potential equals to what? 0. Final potential equals to what? Capital H. So can we apply law of conservation of energy? So from 3 can we get? 3 implies 
is the initial kinetic energy equals to 1 by 2 m into v1 square. What is the initial potential energy? 0 is it equals to 1 by 2 m. What is the final kinetic energy? Is 0 plus is the final potential energy exit? Is it mgh? Is m is cancelled? And can we calculate the capital H? Is capital H equals to 1 by 2 v1 square divided by what? G. So can we find out theoretical height to which it will rise? During this process, we assume that air will not offer any type of resistance. But air in practice does offer resistance. So it will not rise to this height. But will rise to somewhat lower height. So assumption is that there is no air drag. And because of this one, will this have, so it has swing through the certain angle theta. So if this one is the swing, can we able to calculate the angle of theta? For this one, if I draw one horizontal line from this point, okay. so if I draw horizontal line, then is this is a right angle triangle and is this length is same as L and is this height from here to here, previously this height is what, at L, from here to here, now this height is H, is this height is L minus H, is this height is adjacent, can we say cos theta is equals to L minus H upon L, so can we find out angle of now we can apply in the reverse direction also. Suppose I have a ball, I have a pendulum here and I keep my pendulum at this point at a certain angle theta and I release from this point. I release from this point. I said I release from this point is the velocity V1 is 0. Is H1 is equals to capital H and when it goes from this side to this side, this time will the velocity will change and will the velocity direction will be like this. So numerically you have to take this value equal to negative. So as the ball, as the pendulum will come to this height, it has changed the height equals to h. So kinetic energy, potential energy convert into what? Kinetic energy. So I have to compare figure number 0.1 and 0.2. So is my 0.2 is the lowest point? That is called as data. So that is assign h equals to what? 0. Now again I neglect the friction due to air. So can I apply the same law again? So if I apply the third again, the law of conservation of energy, what was my initial kinetic now? Zero. What is the initial kinetic? Zero. What is the initial potential? Is it equals to M into G into capital H? What is the final potential energy? Is it zero? And do you have velocity here? So that equals to what? 1 by 2 M into what? V2 plus final potential is zero. So this time, do you get V2 equals to under root of they are one and same form. Move from this point to this point. Your conversion from kinetic. Move from this point to this point. Your conversion is from what? Potential to kinetic. Both time our formula will not change. That is remain same. At a given instant we have a pendulum. Having mass equals to m. Length of pendulum equal to l. And is having a linear velocity. So is this pendulum is having a rotational motion like this. About the fixed point equals to what? O. Means it has a fixed uh, it has a rotational motion, it has a normal acceleration also, that normally you call set. So this time, this bob will try to move outward. So does it experience the centrifugal acceleration? And is the weight of the block is also at downward? So weight of the block will be equals to what? Mg. And centripetal acceleration is M into An. An is called as normal acceleration or centripetal acceleration. Because of this one, is this string is pulled down and is this spring will be in tension. The normal acceleration is given by V square divided by R velocity and R is this value that equal to this. So is it same as V square divided by L. So can we cut the spring at tension? In a mechanics we always have permission to cut it. Tension we have to always have permission to cut it. So is it a FBD? So is this force is upward? And is these two forces are downward. So can we say T sigma F i equal to 0. So upward force is equals to what? Downward force. Is it Mg plus M into A L. And what is A L? Is V square by R. Sigma F i is this one is tension in the string. When the pendulum is exactly at vertical. Now let's consider the inclined position. Are you able to calculate this angle theta first? You can calculate this angle theta. This time is the weight of the bomb will act vertically downward always true but this time what is the velocity zero so is a centrifugal acceleration exist or does not exist 
So is a and will come in picture or will not come in picture? Will not come in picture. But is this tension is still exist here? If the tension is always inward force. Can I resolve this component into two parts? One part is like this and other part is like this. Now this angle is theta with the vertical. So is this the same angle theta with what is this component is cos theta and is this component is w sin theta. So this time if you cut at this point, so is this force is balanced by this force and this one is cause of unbalanced force will the body will go in balance force must be present at this point. So this time is tension T equals to w cos theta. So I modify my formula here. I will write this equals to what? Is it W? Mg equal to what? W of M. Can I write this one is W by G. Mg. What is Mg? Mg is W. And what is M? M is defined as W by G into A. Now tell me whether this value is more or this value is more. Cos theta is always less than. So is this value is more? So this tension is called as max and this tension is called as minimum. So when we have a maximum tension at vertical position and when when we are inclined for